Hey everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, a cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Thank you for all the support on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and subscribing to our industry leading blogs on the website. Below there is a link to our latest cloud computing blogs. We love filming our weekly news and shows and remember to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get the latest releases. Our shows are on iTunes as a podcast. Below there is a link. Let's connect, reach out to me or my team. Below in the description box are the links for LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'm excited to announce that we now have our NYC East Coast team. There is the email newyork at nelsonhilliard.com. So get in touch, let's talk about cloud and connect you with the top 20% of cloud professionals in your area. Watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Lindicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. Over to you, David. So Dave Lenticum, author, speaker of Vila's Geek, and uh, here for Nelson Hilliard. So Brad and I have been doing a, uh, a video podcast for the last several several months, uh, including on YouTube as well as on, uh, on uh, iTunes. And we talk about cloud computing in terms of what the essence is, how to be successful with cloud computing, and basically how to find the talent, how to make your organization move in the cloud computing direction, leverage the right technology in the right time with the right people and getting the skills you need, as we say, to pay the bills. So ultimately, if you're looking for a recruiter that is focused just on cloud computing, has a ethical guidance that no one else has, is able to find the people that you need, they're able to take your organization to the next level, they can brought a call because ultimately, these guys are the ones that are able to provide the talent that you need to really kind of take your organization in a disruptive direction to help your company move into an innovative space that you've yet to see yet. So give Brad a call, make sure you understand uh, what, the, uh, what the deal is in terms of moving into cloud. And he's in the United States as well as on the East Coast. So you can reach him at uh, New York at NelsonHilliard.com. Check them out. This week sees Microsoft revenue exceeds 100 billion US dollars, which has been boosted by cloud services. Chief Executive Officer Satya Nadella said in a statement, our early investments in the intelligent cloud and intelligent edge are paying off, and we continue to expand our reach in large and growing markets with differentiated innovation. Tom Tooley, an InvestorPlace.com analyst, told Reuters, the combination of the cloud, which is a megatrend that's going to last for years to come, and the execution is a company that knows how to sell and be innovative. It's hard to argue with anything here. Revenue for LinkedIn, the professional social networking site, increased 37% to 1.4 billion US dollars, although the division saw an overall operating loss of 182 million. Gaming revenue increased 39% to 2.3 billion, with the company's number of Xbox Live monthly active users increasing to 57 million. This week sees the Australia's impending My Health record system have a privacy framework that is identical to a failed system in the UK. My Health record is a digital medical record that stores medical data and shares it between medical providers. In the UK, a similar system called Care.Data was announced in 2014, but cancelled in 2016 after an investigation found that the drug and insurance companies were able to buy information on patients' mental health conditions, diseases and smoking habits. Phil Booth, the coordinator of British privacy group Med Confidential, said the similarities were extraordinary and he expected the same privacy breaches to occur. The parallels are incredible. It looks like it is repeating itself, almost like a rewind or a replay. The context has changed, but what is plainly obvious to us from the other side of the planet is that the system seems to be the 2018 replica of the 2014 Care.Data. This week sees the Lufthansa Group and SAP launch Aviation Blockchain Challenge. According to a press release, this is in a bid to look for blockchain-based solutions that make the traveler's customer experience, processes and supply chains and maintenance procedures smoother and more interconnected. Currently, there are travel and mobility related applications in the market, which are in its development stages for decentralized networks. 
However, these solutions did not reach market maturity on the value chain of airlines. Thorsten Dirks, a member of the executive board of Deutsche Lufthansa AG and in charge of Eurowings and Aviation Services said, Blockchain is one of the game-changing technologies of our time, which we are systematically addressing as part of our digital strategy for the Lufthansa Group. We look forward to discussing innovative solutions and initiating experiments together with our partner SAP at the Aviation Blockchain Challenge. This week sees Western Australia government looking to replace its CIO. Western Australia's government has started the search for a new Chief Information Officer five months after former Tech Chief Giles Nunes left the position. Giles had spent three years at the helm of the state's former CIO office, having been tasked with improving the state's IT posture by the former Burnett government in September 2015. In February, Giles made a move to Deloitte, leaving Executive Director of ICT Policy and Governance Mario Birchall to take up the whole of government role in the interim. The government is now looking for a high caliber leader for the new office and the state's newly refocused digital transformation efforts more broadly. The government's CIO will be responsible for providing policy leadership and advice on digital transformation, data analytics and data sharing and operate as a center of excellence for digital technology procurement and change management. I'm Brad Nelson. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's news. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And you can also check out our latest shows with David Lindicum on the podcast in the link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.